Hello, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I will be reviewing another Team Transports and this is a pretty exciting one. Uh, this is going to be one of two I'm going to be reviewing this week. Um, the next one, I don't know if it's going to be coming right after this video or maybe the next day. I think it might be later today because I really just want these videos out here. But this is one of two. This is the Toyota off-road truck with the Fleet Street truck. Um, of course, two trucks. <laughs> but the, of course, the hauler is the Fleet Street. The, the actual Baja truck is the Toyota off-road truck. Um, really nice looking uh, piece. Um, we're getting to why I really wanted this, even though I feel like this is going to be a peg warmer. I just needed to have it. Um, so yeah, there's the card art. Obviously, really nice. Let's take a look at the back. The rest of the series, and of course, the other one I'm going to be reviewing, spoiler alert, is this one. The Nissan 300ZX. I didn't get the Supra. Um, well, first of all, I didn't get this at the store because I still haven't seen it before. Um, I mean, it, it's been out, but, I, you know, me finding these types of sets, I just won't be able to find it. So I had to buy it online, which I normally don't do, but it actually didn't cost me that much. Uh, it paid a little, just a little bit, just a little bit over retail price, which was not bad for two um, team transports. So I, I don't really re regret it because, I mean, I always wanted these um, team transports when they first got released or leaked or revealed, whatever you want to say. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, open it up because, man, I've been waiting all day. I got it yesterday, um, and I just really wanted to do the review, but it was too late to do so. Um, but today's the day. Um, I can't wait. <laughs> Be careful. Sure, there you go. Take it off the box. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I don't have plans on selling these uh, team transports anytime soon. So that's why I'm opening them. Not just because I want to show you, but also because it just makes me, uh, gives me an excuse to open these on camera and have it in my hand. So, comes in another little plastic thing. Let's pull it out of here. Make sure the truck doesn't fall off. If it doesn't fall off the hauler. There we go. And the cars in the back are moving. That's fine. Um... Let's move these back. Of course, kind of a Toyota theme today. And there it is. And my God, it looks amazing. So far, <laughs> zoom in a little bit. It's a little too much. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I love Baja trucks, as you can already tell. You already saw my speed energy can. And even though I'm new to racing, Baja truck racing, they're cool. I don't know why. They, they really are. Um, well, let's take a look at the truck in a little bit and take a look at the hauler because that's probably the, I guess the most boring part of it, even though I don't consider it boring, it's kind of a knickknack to have, of course, and that's why we have the team transport. So, uh, of course, if you haven't noticed already, of course, judging by the color, it is in the TR delivery. Um, the trailer or cab hauler, whatever, does not, I call it the Fleet Street, does not have uh, TRD logos on it or Toyota because apparently I mean, I think there might be some copyright issue or like licensing issue with that because it's not a Toyota but that doesn't really make any sense because I've seen other Toyota castings that ha that don't have the TRD logo or Toyota on it but it has the stripes so I, I really don't get that and I'm going to pull out one example which I know um, and I'm going to talk about some other ones but I, just for example the Toyota Celica with the actual stripes on the side it has it but it doesn't say TRD for some reason now that's what I was really concerned and they're like not concerned I'm like not worried about it that's what I found really odd really interesting uh this one thankfully it does on the on the truck uh, we'll take a look at that one in a little bit like I said a uh, really nice bed um very nice low truck this is actually my favorite one out of all of them so far um yeah Really simple rubber tires, nice wheels on it. I like it. Metal cab. Uh, the bed moves back. There you go. Does it go down? Nice. That's awesome. And oh, and it just detached. <laughs> oh, that's an easy fix. I just put it back on here. Just snap it back. There we go. So I didn't break it. <laughs> and a nice extra spare tires on here. Different treads. It looks like those are slicks and those are maybe off-road looking tires. More 
rain tires or something but of course for the context it's off-road and of course with an off-road tire you need off-road truck and here is a truck that comes included this is amazing i love this truck <laughs> the casting i wasn't really a fan of for the longest part because i mean every single time i would see this casting it's always in the main line and it just this it, it didn't really poke out to me it didn't really stand out being honest and they always came up with like these weird colors but this one is probably the best one besides the first edition which is i think it was a hot wheels 100 percent metal series where it was in this livery but it was actually officially licensed by toyota and it had ivan stewart on the side which of course is one of the drivers that drove this truck among others but you know i could name iron man ivan stewart robbie gordon i think drove this truck at one point so of course as a robbie gordon fan anytime i have a chance to get an off-road truck that resembles robbie gordon of course i might have to get it uh, that one, of course, it doesn't really go with it. I mean, it does, but, you know, not officially licensed either, thing, either way. But this one's really nice if you really wanted to get that 100%. It has delivery on it. it. Doesn't It's not fully accurate, but it does the job, in my opinion. It does a really amazing job. Of course, metal metal, as you can tell. Uh, wheels are really nice on here, but I, I don't know if people sell Robbie Gordon Edition wheels wheels i could put on hot wheels if there is i really need to go some pick some up and i could put it on some cars but yeah really but even these wheels are look nice of course uh the only sponsors that are on here is bf goodrich uh which i believe was a sponsor in real life for this truck but on in reality it would say toyota on the side bell helmets ibox springs number one he ivan stewart did drive number one the number one baja truck for toyota Back in the, I think the early 90s, I think, 1993. Uh, TRD, Toyota Recent Development. At least it's at least we have a TRD logo on this. Now I would have been super confused, number one. It's kind of unrealistic because numbers don't usually go on top, except for NASCARs, of course. Um, the more of the striping, number one, BF Goodrich. I don't, I don't know what's up with the black. If I think if you ditch the black, it would probably look a little bit better. But, I mean, whatever. They had to fill up the space anyways. And the left side is the same as the right side, except the number one is actually inverted. Italicized the other way, where it goes that way. It looks cleaner, in my opinion. Um, front uh, front detail, this is what I really enjoy of this truck, because usually the main lines, of course, don't have front headlight detail. And this one does, and it has box springs on the where, where the, the headlights would be, but of course there's no headlights on this. Um, the grill is also painted. Very nice. No Toyota badge, but that's fine. Uh, front bar, plastic. The wheel is different. I wish they would have changed it because this looks like the normal. Well, it actually used to be the off-road wheels for mainline, but then they changed it. It looks kind of ugly. I mean, I think I have one Toyota off-road truck with this wheel type. It looks kind of ugly, being honest, because I always thought of them as smiley faces, each individual hole on the rim. It looks very weird. Um, but other than that, it's really nice. Uh, another thing about the 100% first edition of this truck, it was actually detachable, where you could detach the body from the chassis, or the, yeah, the entire body from the chassis. Here, I don't think we'd be able to do that, because I think there'd be a hinge somewhere, but, um, I'm not going to look for it, being honest. Because I don't think, if not, the packaging would have said caution, because moving parts or little parts. So, yeah. Uh, this is so cool and of course to add on to well before that let's bring down the trailer see how it would work to put it back in here it's really nice just hops on there there's actually two posts just in case if you have a smaller car but of course this one's pretty long so it'll just stay there and now you're on your way to the track or well not really a track you're going off-road so anywhere is your track basically it would be kind of unrealistic since this doesn't have rubber tires um hell i don't even think any 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 hauler would go off road i think this thing would have to go itself or maybe a truck could be pulling it that can actually go off road but you know i think this might be road legal barely but it's more designed for dip that's racing of course to add on to the toyota fleet we have, even though it doesn't really go with it, I mean, it still kind of goes with Toyota history. We have both of the Pikes Peak 
Toyota is that how it was released back in 1998 and 1999. This is the Toyota Celica Pike Speak Edition, and this is the Toyota Tacoma Pike Speak Edition. Uh, released in 1998 as the first edition, 1999 as the first edition. Really cool. They go well. Um, built by the same person in real life. I think, was his name? Steve Millen? Oh no, Rod Millen. Excuse me. I just saw the, I saw the name right there. Uh, but yeah, both sponsored by Pennzoil. Both look really nice. Both has the same wheels. Lots of aerodynamics, of course. So I just decided to add it because this was one of like the early TRD racing stuff in here in the U.S. Before Gazoo Racing or GR as we know it. I prefer TRD over GR even though they are making cool stuff. Um, they, they, TRD, like people associate TRD with off-road stuff, but that isn't really the case. Back then, it wasn't really the case. Now it kind of is GR, but you know, TRD runs the NASCAR program, of course, with the Toyota Camrys, and the, but because you racing ones, the Supras in the Xfinity series. Um, so yeah, we have these two Toyotas, and then something that I really wanted to add with this truck is another truck I have, even though it's not a Hot Wheels. This, <laughs> you can see the similarities, huh? This is the 2016. Toyota Tacoma by Matchbox. Um, this one released back in, I don't remember when, 2021 probably, I'm guessing, maybe 2022. Um, it was around the end of 2022 or 2021, something like but it was around the end of the year when they released this. And I found one, and I was like, you know what, I don't really like it. Not that the casting, the color did look cool, of course, but um, I just decided to pick it up just because it looked cool. I don't think I regret it. <laughs> I think I'm really happy I did. Because, look, I have a TRD team now. Look at that. This could be the hauler taking the truck to the desert. And this can be where there could be some extra accessories or parts or spare parts or whatever. But, but this is actually just a camper you can remove. There you go. It looks like a service truck. Um, you know, if the team needs to go find this truck and fix some parts, I mean, there's always parts on the actual, like an actual off-road truck. They got this, or if the team wants to sleep or rest, you got a little camper on here. And hey, still goes with the same thing, same livery. Uh, for like I said, this one doesn't have TRD on it. Um, BF Goodrich, of course. So it does go well, even though it's a different rival brand. It goes really, really well. I like this. <laughs> you you could just see this on the highway. Like if we're, like for example, if I'm going to Barstow, I could probably see this because there's like a little uh, track. When you're going up to Vegas, you pass by like a little desert day and like desert dunes or whatever. Some people go out there to ride their ATVs, UTVs. Maybe sometimes, sometimes you could see Baja trucks. Maybe, but yeah, that's oh my god, that's awesome. I got two of the TRD uh, teams. Um, like I said, something I'd like to get is the Toyota Celica just it could go well with the trd designs here or but it's gonna come out in december or maybe later hopefully earlier but i don't know the toyota hilux stadium truck yes that one would be my ultimate ultimate piece of trd history because i think that pretty much started the trd thing right and of course you know me love stadium super trucks even though that's like a Mickey thompson stadium truck i love it i've been trying to get more into the actual stadium truck racing from mickey thompson that would be nice even though like i said that one doesn't have trd branding has the colors and it could go perfectly we can have the service truck a baja truck and a stadium truck i could probably have the stadium truck in here man i'm talking a lot about trd huh <laughs> this is awesome I, I love the colors on here I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sad that toyota doesn't run this livery anymore even though it kind of resembles the past i just like the past better even though i wasn't born during that time I, it's better so yeah, uh, as you can tell, I'm really happy about this. Um, like I said, this might be a peg warmer, but I mean, for me, as a person who loves racing, this is, this is the best set, one of the best sets Hallways has released in a long while. Uh, for racing fans like myself, and especially especially off-road racing fans, uh, kind of like myself. I mean, like I said, I've been trying to get in, trying to get into it. So I don't know everything, but all I know is I know is that this thing is sick. <laughs> So uh, I guess that has been the review of the Toyota off-road truck with the Fleet Street Team Transport from Hot Wheels. So if you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.